and welcome. I'm Reverend Allie Bierman, and I'm so glad that you joined us here today for our gathering of Metaphysical Ministry International. Metaphysical Ministry is all about the philosophical explanation for quantum physics. In other words, you, by virtue of your observation and your thoughts, are creating the world in which you live. And here's the really big part. You only get to witness, to observe, to experience less than 1% of all that exists, using only your five senses. So that means more than 99% of the actual experience of life is hidden from you until you recognize you are evolving into a multi-sensory being. So if you allow in all these extrasensory perceptions that you're kind of aware of, but afraid somebody will think you're weird if you actually speak about them. You don't have to speak about them, but you can notice things like people's auras, or maybe you'll see orbs around people, or maybe you'll just see orbs and photographs of people. Whatever it is, your life is a richer experience, and you allow yourself to know more of what exists that's beyond what you can see and hear, smell, taste, or touch. We begin every week with a happy share, and a happy share is something that leaves you feeling good, at peace, calm, but it's something for you. It's not something that happened for your spouse or your best friend, for your kids or your parents. It left you feeling really good. And the reason you want to have to share to share it is because your imagination, your subconscious can't tell the difference between what's going on in your world at the moment and what you're calling up imagining. Therefore, when you pull up a memory of something that left you feeling good or happy or peaceful, you get to relive it all over again. All those same positive, good feeling neural peptides are flowing through your body and you're really and truly feeling those great feelings again. So get in the habit of happiness. Share your happy share down below here or better yet, go over to the happy share movement dot com make it a habit of going there every day watch your world change because the more that you look for things in your life to be happy about the more you'll see because they're there all the time plus the universe will see you're looking for things to be happy about you're feeling gratitude for all these things you get to feel happy about it's going to give you lots more so what's my happy share this week this morning i completed a book i completed reading the book as opposed to listening the book and it's been very many years because there was something that happened with my eyes 16 years ago since I could sit down and read a book that's a few hundred pages and just read it through. So that's a huge happy share for me and I feel really good about it. And you know what I could do it? Because I wanted to. Because I focused on the fact I could and because that book was a special book, a brand new release and it was due and I couldn't renew it because there's a long line of people waiting for it. So you know what? When you got to do something in your life, you make it happen. I'm glad I did, and I feel really, really pleased to know I can make that happen. Now this week I want to talk to you about an interesting experience that I had. See if you've ever had anything like this happen to you. I live in the United States, and most people here are Christian. And it happens to be December right now. And what does that mean? It means people are doing their Christmas thing. So I was at the dentist the other day, and the hygienist asked me if I was all ready for Christmas. And I very matter-of-factly said, I don't celebrate Christmas. I'm not Christian. And the puzzled look on her face and on the dentist's face, I just threw in this other piece, I don't believe, in religion. Now this was a totally unexpected response that I've never gotten in my life from anybody when I told them that. The dentist asked if I'm an atheist. I thought, how the heck does that follow? I don't believe in religion, therefore I don't believe that there's a source, a universal higher power. It's like, whoa, are you kidding? Well, you probably understand what I'm talking about when I say that religion and spirituality are two different things, but let me just make it really clear. Okay, so over here, I'm going to write about religion. And religion, for most people, means there's some kind of book 
a Bible, a prayer hymnal of some sort, a prayer book, whatever religion it is, you're going to have at least those two things, right? You're also going to have a place to go to do your worship. It's a place of worship or to worship. And somebody in there is going to be telling you how to worship, okay? They're going to tell you how to say the prayers. They're going to tell you what prayers to say. Like, do they have this special line to source that you're not privileged to have? Are they more holy than you? These are just some things that I notice in religion. And here's something that I've heard more than once that you have to know how to say the prayers according to their rules. Okay? And who makes the rules? Who interprets the Bible? Men. And do they change over time? I remember when I was little, Catholics didn't eat fish on Fridays, and then came along Vatican II, and now Catholics eat fish on Fridays. Well, if this was a holy special law, how could it change if it was handed down directly from source? I'm puzzled about that. It makes no sense to me. The one that totally makes no sense to me is being told, this is the way to pray, the way I teach you, and no other way has any meaning, and no other way is acceptable. Excuse me? Now, you can be very, very religious, and you can have zero spirituality. You can probably think of somebody like that right now. And you can also be very religious and have a very deep spirituality. But here's the thing that this dentist wasn't understanding. I think he's never heard of anybody who wasn't Christian before. Anyway, spirituality is all about what it says. Your spirit. And that really should be a capital S. Because you're not a human who has a spiritual soul. You are a divine spirit. You are an immortal soul. Right now living in a human body, having a human experience. All of you is part of the all that is. Every person, every animal, every plant, every mineral, Every drop of water, the air we breathe, all of us compose the all that is. Now, obviously not any one of us is all that there is. I know I can't breathe life into a person, nor can I take life away from a person. Only the source itself, the totality, and then whatever existed before Big Bang can do that. So spirituality is about knowing you are a spirit. Knowing you communicate directly with that higher source. So there's no middleman here. And you take responsibility for your life. So that self responsibility. And you do that by making choices. Think about it. Everything you do in life is a choice. Science will tell you, no, it's a stimulus and a response. Well, if you're somebody who just reacts, then there's stimulus going directly to response. But, if you're somebody who understands self-responsibility then the equation, more accurately, is stimulus to choice to response. It's called being proactive. It's called responding rather than reacting.
when you know that you are a spirit having a human experience and you are responsible for your life not somebody standing up there on a pulpit who's making choices for you huh you are making the choice whether to live in your power and live your life as you choose to or whether to give away your power to somebody else who says you need them to tell you how to live what to do to interpret the laws for you and then they change their mind and make up different laws different interpretations so are you spiritual are you religious are you both? Understand the choice that you're making for yourself. Now, if you're on the ministry page and you look up there, you will see a page called Hold a Space For. Holding a space means to hold the vision of somebody manifesting something that's not in their life now. Maybe it's a new car. Maybe it's better health. Maybe it's a relationship. Maybe it's some travel that they've long wanted to do. Whatever it is, it's something that's not in their life now. And by you holding a space for it, it means you're seeing them. And you don't have to see them visually. If you just speak their name and what they want you to hold a space for, the universe knows who they are. They're asking too. And when they're asking, they're getting a thought form maybe this big. But the more people who ask, the bigger and bigger that thought form gets. The universe sees it, gets its attention faster. And when it's in the highest and best interest of the person making the request, it will happen, it will happen faster for them. So if there's something you want in your life and you can't make this happen for somebody else, it's not for your dad or your kid or your friend, it's for you. If there's something you want in your life, scroll on down there, tell us what it is, leave your name, Leave what it is you want, and it will magically appear up there. Come back at least once a week. Read every name up there and what their request is. You have to know the people of the universe knows who they are, just as it will know who you are and what you want. And spread the word. You know, I'm so glad that you came by here today. Just go on down and tell me how you feel about this, the spirituality, the religion. Where do you stand? What happens if you're not a Christian and somebody asks you, how's your Christmas planning going? There are so many people in this country who aren't Christians. And yet, there's this assumption that everybody celebrates Christmas. It's like, so what if you're Jewish? I grew up Jewish. So what if you're Jewish? You celebrate Christmas anyway, don't you? No. <laughs> Let me know what you think. And if you haven't done so already, you've gone over there. Fill in your name and email and I'll send you a copy of How to Take Your First Steps on your spiritual, not your religious, on your spiritual path. And by the way, your spirituality, your views on religion, they're yours. Make them yours. Nobody can tell you. Is somebody so the oversoul itself that they know what's right or wrong for you? No. They wouldn't be here in a human form if they were. Please go ahead down there and click like up there or down there and click share. And let others in on what's happening in the world that they can't tell. It's just their five senses because they're missing so much. And you can't know to make a change until you realize you're stuck in a box. Enjoy a wonderful week. Make your spiritual beliefs clear for you doesn't matter for anybody else. Blessings.